Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. What? Happy. New. 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 This one is another thread. Okay, I saw this a while back and I bookmarked it and someone also uh, sent it to me as a message on Twitter, but I'd already had it. All right, so this is very important. And I think I spoke about it in one of my video where the US government, or did I edit that video yet? Uh, US government is asking uh, for information regarding TikTok from the Chinese government and all of that. All right, so let's read this this thread is from alexis ohanian okay before i start reading this one of the most i would say uh impressive social media that they have here is the one that he created uh how do they call that uh it's not tic tac um i have a count on it sometimes it's very hard to to comment on it um what's the name of it the one that he created all right just look at the screen when i'm editing i'm sure i remember but right now i can't think of it he created it okay with a group of other people this social media is very well put they as long as they don't sell it to anybody else but whoever is managing it is doing a pretty good job for not having trolls in it there i'm sure there is I'm sure there is, but I'm not on it every day for me to really uh, see exactly what's going on there. But it's like you create your group, your group comes in it, and you you could manage your group the way you want it, and you could kick people out whenever you feel like it. So it's a decent um, 
again like i said i'm not on it every day for me to actually explain in full detail how it works but in my humble opinion i think it's a very good uh, social media platform that uh, i think is very well uh, put together all right so but anyway this is serena williams husband okay this is a, a national security threat if any of my followers were mad about Russian election interference exploiting social media platforms, you ain't seen nothing yet. The 4D chess move is to own the social network. This is why I'm not on TikTok. And also, there is one of the, the clearest one I could say about his point of view here is who was trying to buy Twitter. And it's... It was, uh, in a sense, innocently by someone less, I hate to say the name because I do not have proof, but the reason that I think some people wanted, some people, okay, several people, I'm not going to say exactly who, uh, within those people, who wanted to buy a social media outlet is because they wanted to get the people who's tweeting they wanted to see the information because they could not get the information uh, directly from social media due to laws that prevent social media to giving it to a third party. Okay, so they were trying to buy it. And now I believe the Chinese have found the key pieces here and they're trying to do that. When they create their own, I'm not part of it. I told you why I'm not on TikTok. I saw it miles away. As soon as they get the young people involved, Okay, make it trending the same way YouTube started. Okay, look how big YouTube has become. It's become a huge business. You get the young people to make it trend, to make it hip, to make it do all of that. And then once they get the hang of it, all right, people start uh, participating and then bam, that's where they get you. All right, all the rules, they're going to start changing the rules, make it difficult for you to do certain things. All the hip thing that you used to think of, not anymore. Okay. So TikTok, I saw it miles away, but let's get back to the thread. Okay, this here, he retweeted this when opening a website from within the TikTok iOS app, they inject code that can observe every keyboard input, which may include credit card detail, passwords, or other sensitive information. There was a um, uh, information I saw a while back maybe five i know it was before the pandemic it had to do with canada who was having some issues with uh some tech company that was manufacturing things with uh with some chinese things okay when i saw this and tiktok was one of them i said no way i'm not gonna be in it so now there's the proof here who's someone who knows more about it there it is okay when opening a website from within the TikTok ios app they inject code that can observe every keyboard input which may include credit card detail password or other sensitive information TikTok also has code to observe all taps like clicking on any buttons or link wow let's go into that this and then i'll come back out of it let's go into this all right TikTok. TikTok monitoring all keyboard input and tabs when you open any link on the TikTok ios it open inside the in-app browser while you are interacting with the website TikTok subscribers to all keyboard input including password credit card information etc and every tab on the screen like which button and links you click TikTok iOS subscribes to every keystroke text input happening on third party website running inside the TikTok app. This can include password, credit card information, and other sensitive user data. Key press and a key down. We can't know what TikTok uses the description for, but from a technical perspective, this is the equivalent of installing a key logger on third party website. TikTok iOS subscribes to every tap on any button, link image, or other component on website rendering inside the TikTok app. TikTok iOS use a JavaScript function to get detail about element the user click on like on image. Wow. 
document that element font point wow 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 this is why i i was telling my kids because as soon as i found them kind of interesting into um coding i put them on a thing about coding so i'm out of uh alexis oranian's thread okay i went into the first thing that he uh okay he linked and then i'll come out of this and then go back to his thing here all right, let me see what this guy is putting continuing to analyze the instagram ios app i found something new beside injecting pcm js as covered last week instagram also inject javascript code to observe all tap happening inside the in app browser like clicking on button links or image <laughs> all right so he's explaining here as of ios 14.3 apps can easily hide their JavaScript activities from website using WK content word. Oh my goodness. All right. Hence, it becomes more important than ever to find a solution to end the use of custom and app browser for sharing third party content. Hmm. There's more thing here. All right. Apps that use the recommended SF Safari view controller approach don't have any of those problems. Even with uh, WK Content World System, there is no way the iOS app can inject JS code into external website, making it the safest choice for the user. Okay, let's see here. Uh, iOS app that use Safari. Okay, so he's telling you so this one is very okay so these are the ones that use uh, safari that don't really monitor that much of your things okay the apps below follow apple's recommendation of using safari or saf safari view controller for view external website more context on there's that thing again in the original article all apps that use safari controller or default browser are on the safe side and there is no way for apps to inject any code onto website even with new wk content well system so they're saying here these are some i'm very surprised whatsapp is there because whatsapp i saw something a while back that's must have been i didn't have kids at that time it must have been wow if my oldest is that age i would say maybe phew, fifth the most of 12 years ago i download whatsapp and then i saw something and i was like what i automatically deleted it it was something that i took privately and i saw it happen on a whatsapp i deleted it and i didn't want to be on whatsapp anymore i'm surprised this is there okay there's twitter this is why some of those people wanted to buy twitter they couldn't do the thing that they wanted to do because it uses that okay reddit i think it was reddit that i was thinking of that uh, uh alexa created reddit i think it reddit is the one yeah i think it is because it's one of the safest and hardest social media to sort of manipulate kind of what's up okay I'd, I'd, this is the first time i'm hearing about this slack google map youtube okay with uh how do you call this with google google tend to keep its thing very uh very internal kind of thing very secretive it's the same thing with apple you could always thought that apple is almost as if apple is the same as google but it's not it's a different company but um they do they manage their system the same way gmail okay gmail is part of google telegraph okay google map youtube gmail i consider them under the same umbrella telegram first time i'm hearing it signal tweetbot okay first time i'm hearing that spotify i've heard it venmo microsoft team microsoft outlook microsoft OneNote, and twitch i've heard of twitch twitch is part of i believe of google isn't it so these are somewhat a bit safer they will say i'm surprised whatsapp is there okay faq frequent ask question for non-tech readers okay so that's that let me click on it you could freeze your screen to read it okay can an uh, app browser read anything i do online no they're only able to read and watch your online activities when you open a link 
or add from within their apps do apps above actually steal my password address credit card number no i wanted to showcase that bad actors could get access to this data with this approach as shown in the past it is possible for a company to get access to data legally and for free without asking the user for permission they will track it Okay, how can I protect myself? Whenever you open a link from any app, see if the app offers the way to open the, the currently shown website in your default browser. Uh, during this analysis, every app beside TikTok offer a way to do this. <laughs> beside TikTok. Okay, our company is doing this on purpose. Building your own and app browser take a non-trivial time to program and maintain significantly more than just using a privacy user okay you could finish with this this is q a all right question and answer uh right wow what an honor to have my work feature on forbes okay so they mentioned on forbes including statement by TikTok confirming the code i found exists and does what i expected all right so he's a a code person so they confirm what he said so, so let's see here that's from forbes Quote, this was an active choice the company made, and quote, said Felix Crosser, a software researcher based in Vienna who published a report in his finding Thursday. Quote, this is a non-trivial engineering task. This does not happen by mistake or randomly. And quote, Cross is the founder of Fastlane, a service for testing and deploying apps which Google acquired five years ago. Okay. TikTok strongly pushed back at the idea that it's tracking users and it's an app browser. The company confirmed those features exist. <laughs> okay, those features does exist, but they debunk what he's saying here. Of course, they're not going to say, yes, I do this. Only a person who does coding will understand what those features do. So he knows what they do. So he's telling you this is what they do. Of course, TikTok is not going to confirm it. Okay, but said TikTok is not using them. Okay, like other platform, we use an in-app browser to provide an optimal user experience, but the JavaScript code and question is used only for debugging, troubleshooting, and performance monitoring of that experience, like checking how quickly a page loads or whether it crashes, spokesperson Moran Shanahan said in a statement. Okay, so I'm done with his thread. These are people who's commenting here. Now I'm going back to... Uh, Horanian thread okay so i'm back to it so i just came from that okay so his point of view here uh alexis Horanian is saying here those bad guys okay what they want to do they want to control the social media aspect of things okay young people who come and uh, create different stuff let's say for instance back in the days what was that app again um that does music uh and then the government claimed they were doing things illegal it was due to uh copyright thing and then now what do you have you have spotify who's doing almost the same thing who you have all sort of other um what's the name of that oh my god i can't remember any of them okay you used to download music and stuff like that uh it's the same version but now people wants to control this kind of thing so when those young people create, you know, they have the idea of creating it. And I think Facebook was one of them as well. It was someone else who had the idea, but they weren't as smart as uh, the one who owned it right now. But um, they want to control that. And this is why I don't uh, participate that much, interact on Facebook, because when I saw the, when it went public, the person the group of people who were almost majority owner they were just shine of being majority and i i put that in question i was like if you could reach that much if you could buy that much of a stock to be the majority why don't you become the majority but instead they were shine of it of becoming majority owner of it and then face you seeing who's going to uh what's the guy name uh he has that funny eye this kind of thing all right He's just the face of it, but I don't think he's fully uh, on it. Or, but whatever. I, it's just thing that I question myself, and that's why I'm not on Facebook as much. All right? They're trying to own it just like when you look in the UK. Who own the media over there? How they control all the system over there? All right? The UK is just a blueprint for everyone to spread out. 
okay to do it over on the world but we the young people need to focus on how to maintain not to follow that trend when we see it but TikTok already took over by the young people who keep on creating stuff but anyway that's that let's continue with the thread i hope i make sense with my explanation okay there's alexis again i think i started tweeting about this three years ago let's see what he wrote three years ago russia brags about manipulating social network with bots china says quote home my sanctuary okay i don't know i hope i pronounce it we're going to own the entire social network okay the wall street journal in 2019 i wasn't even aware of all of this when i was put little things here and there that i was seeing Okay, Chinese video sharing app TikTok spent a war chest of $1 billion on ads last year. U.S. social media rival or rattle? Hmm. Wow, wow, wow. That was 2019. Well, they learned from the Russian what they did in 2016. So that's the blueprint. And the whole thing with the Chinese here is the U.S. who gave them that leg to stand on because when you see when you look at the u.s i don't know if other countries do, uh, do that but the u.s they cut from the schooling system not teaching a lot of hands-on thing uh mechanic this kind of thing fixing cars little things wood shop you name it they remove this from the schooling system instead they bring it overseas companies bring it overseas go to china for cheap labor they were trying to avoid uh, the rules and regulation, Fair Labor Act, those kind of things that they put for them. They didn't want to follow this. So they went to China and do that. Through that, China, you know, get rich from it. And then now they're using that money that they built based on American who's trying to get cheap labor. Okay. They're using it against us now. All right. And then they're trying to own it like he's saying here all right the thread continue and yes you can blame me as the reddit guy there it is he was the one yep he created it okay you can blame me as the reddit guy for lots of problems but if i've learned anything about online community and radicalization is that a malicious actor will absolutely take advantage of tt's top tier recommendation engine and slow drip radicalizing content into feeds okay i remember there was a time i came across and i said for the sussex squad he needs to create a a, a social media platform for just for the squad i was just joking a little bit but when you think about it i hope he does okay it works so well they've unlocked the dependence on influencers and with a more democratized style of virality anyone can pop off regardless of followers there's a great long tail of content creators to feed the attention beast okay one of america's greatest export in the 20th century was culture mm -hmm. they envy it but when it comes they want to control it it's the same thing with the like i said the uk is like the blueprint for everything outside of it all right they envy certain things but once they have it they want to control it and the way they want to control it they bring it back to the same you know straight line you follow this order 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 but cultures don't happen like that he is right he is right there's a video that i share with you i think i got the uh, copyright strike on it um where i think cbs was asking put and uh what's his greatest something about america he said that he even said it i've showed it a long time ago i'm not gonna put it because i don't want to get flagged for it okay we're damn good at it now our 21st century youth overwhelmingly want to be creators of culture okay if i'm thinking from china's uh, pov of course i want to own a, the platform for 21st century america culture creation hmm. i'm obviously hoping and funding companies that i believe can win by building a better product but i worry i will see something in the next 10 years that will make the meddling we've seen in the last 10 years look like amateur hour yeah i agree with them i agree and the thing is that the influencers the people they have the thing it's at their disposal because they don't the want who can make it happen but then again once they throw money at them they become blind they become blind that's the thing when they throw money at them they're blind of morality ethic and core values they don't see anything they just want to build money 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 
all right okay i'm obviously hoping and funding companies that i believe can win by building a better product but i worry we'll see something in the next 10 years that will make the meddling we've seen in the past 10 years look like amateur hour okay we have the control as well um who we elect to be in position and power to help us build a better future all right so i hope this november that coming election people go out and vote and vote for the right people because we are at a crossroad right now if we allowed the same type of people that were in power in 2016 we are doomed okay because they only there for money all right you have money they play the game but they don't want to work for the people they want to work for those who have the money okay this is equally threatening if you click a link in your instagram or facebook app meta facebook actually modify the pages you're reading so that it can track every single thing you do on those sites all right so i'm not gonna read that thread it's almost the same thing as the other one that i just read okay, i don't believe anyone media is actively trying to radicalize america and we already know tt okay what's tt stand for is better at recommendation and has a very real interest in undermining us that uh, doesn't let meta off the hook but the bigger threat to the u.s over the next decade is tt what the hell is tt okay i'm sorry but i do not trust zuckerberg that's the guy i was trying to think for facebook zuckerberg more than china i mean you could put them on the same boat you could put them on the same boat like i said the group of people that i saw bought the share was too much for me to be part of okay i trust neither of them if you need me to spell it out okay this is a spot on for pointing this out Okay, surely the potential consequences of a nuclear superpower abusing our trust are worse than a single billionaire abusing it. I will say I will put Zuckerberg in the same page as uh, China. Okay, they will equal, if you put them on a scale equally. All right, not if that single billionaire can turn around and give the nuclear superpower the same data, whether for profit or political reasons that's a very good point okay try our app okay it's disingenuous frankly dangerous and destructive as well to highlight this as a national security of course it's a national security threat but the facebook instagram others and app browser that do exactly the same thing or accept the promises for shareholders profit well he's giving you the warning you either take it or do further research or just ignore it he's giving you the warning all right the u.s company you've talking about ultimately have to serve the american people because the u.s government cannot legislate wreck. that's the key point here this is what i was saying he is absolutely right all right like i said the 20 we don't want people in the 2016 election be back in power again because if they are in power all right a few bucks okay a few millions in their pocket they crash all the laws that's there and then put what is being uh done here all right u.s companies you're talking about ultimately have to serve the american people because the u.s government can legislate regulate the will of the people not at all the case with chinese company that's a very good point here okay how is this different from all the product companies that use con uh, contentsquare.com or java okay i don't even know this this is why sometimes when those platform happen i don't quickly jump on board i like to do a little background okay let's see here like reddit for instance i'm on it but i should be more in it um to put content out there um but um it's a very difficult app okay uh you're doing some pretty significant mental gymnastic to vow uh, to vouch for these companies which have no pre uh proactive reason to address security or privacy issues if it will affect revenues Conf that's the thing you throw them money they forget about it but he gi he's giving you a warning ultimately when you come when it comes to social media ultimately the power is within the people if people are not participating into the social media they're not gonna be trending they're not gonna work they're not won't be able to make advertisement to sell to other people who join in for free okay ultimately the power is on the people's corner but 
he's giving you the warning you either open your mind and do further research and take his warning and start looking deeper into it or just ignore he's giving you the warning wow okay if it will affect revenue conflating incentive and punitive structure of regulation with national security uh, you have some people who throw some very fancy words they speak so very well but there's nothing up there all right there's more comments but i'm done let's see if i could find this all right so this is another tweet that i came across and uh, i think it was this here discover cell gb news all right yeah so that was this one it was retweeted again these are all political 